The sun has been glorious this week. And apart from a few downpours, it has been warm and dry and we've been making the most of it outside. My mum is gonna give us a tour of the garden and show us everything that she's been planting. And the terrace and the beer garden have come alive with color. We've also added something really fun to our beer garden in the pub and it involves axes. So just wait till you see what it is. And we also have something very special lined up for Father's Day. And don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Lady Smith Manor Diaries, to ensure that you see them as soon as we put them out. But first, let me show you what we've been up to this week. My mum and dad are back from the UK and they have been working in the garden all week. So I thought I would ask my mum to give us a little tour of everything that she's been planting. So mum and dad are back and they are now hard at work in the garden. Right, mum? Yes, I am hard at work. It's really, really hard at work here, but it's fun because I'm enjoying it because this is the dahlia day. This is the box that we're going to put the dahlias in. Yeah, so and we've got like a whole raised bed. Yes. Two raised beds. Two raised, raised beds. Really Dad's working yeah. on that one. Yeah, that's right. And so these are just the dahlias and we have some very kind person who gave us some dahlias yeah. to start them off. So I've been soaking them overnight and they're going in today and I can already see the little shoots coming on the dahlia. So I'm looking forward to seeing. Oh, wow. Yeah, some, look at that. Yeah, so that's going to come up good. So I'm going to put some water in here, pop that in. And then on that side over there, we yeah. also have some dahlias that we have not yet discovered whether they're going to work. We've got them in sawdust at the moment. They're going to be soaking overnight. They're from last year, right? Last year. We're going to soak them overnight and I'm putting those in tomorrow. So we will see whether we get... These are all very tall pink ones and okay. they will come up very high. So that's going to be rather exciting to see them when they're fully grown because they'll give us a lovely display even from the... Um, the terrace up there. Yeah. You'll see, the, you'll see them. So, we're so we'll be able to, to cut them. them and put them in the house as well. Yes, you can. That's the idea. So I'll, those will go in there. That's fine. Nice and I'll put, it will need a bit of water on it, I suppose, wouldn't it? Just a little bit of water and then it's going right. in. Thank you. And then it goes. And I've just done most of the other ones and they're all ready. Bullberry. Yep, that's it. A few little bits of the. Um... Okay. Okay. Right, and then it goes, and I'm going to make sure I have a little bit sticking up so I can find it that I put it in. <laughs> there it is, it's gone. Grow quickly, little dahlia. Yeah. So this will be for the vegetables and anything else that will be edible. So what have you actually planted in here then? Right, well I've started off with a beautiful strawberry rhubarb. rhubarb and that will and then be... you can make rhubarb Yes. Crumble out of it but and not stuff, this right? Year. It'll be next year before it's really oh. going to be good. Okay. We've only just put it in recently. So, so we've got have to be next rhubarb. Year. Rhubarb. We've got lots of beautiful tomatoes coming up here. Lots of flour, and the first of the little little uh, tomatoes are just coming on now. So that's nice. Good. And it's two of those. We've got two of those, and I've got another one. Oh, here we've got some herbs. We've only got one lot of herbs at the moment. Yeah. But that will come because we're waiting to get some rosemary in. Yeah, so rosemary we've got basil, basil at the moment. At the moment. Then we've got the one tall tomato plant which will be a roma small roma yeah and then a small cherry tomato down there and here we've got the nasturtiums because we're going to put them to come over the edge and yeah. that will be really colorful but also you can eat the flowers from the nasturtiums so, that's so we can use those in our drinks in the pub right yeah, you can. Yeah, be good. this is where we're having our raised bed with our flowers um, at the moment, I've got some beautiful dahlias. Look at these wonderful dahlias, lovely colour. They're, yeah, they're already beautiful. They're already lovely, aren't they're they? Already, they're very good. Uh, and we've got lots of other plants in here around the edges, all sorts of different ones. And um, I think in the middle here, there is nothing. That is because <laughs> Stephen is going to build something tall, a little beautiful yes. obelisk. And in that, we're going to hopefully have some sweet peas if we can yeah. get them time or something similar. So there'll be something, something that goes up tall in the middle. Yes, that's right. That's the idea. So around here, I'm just looking for them to grow and to flower and to bring lots of color to the garden. Yeah. As well as planting in the raised beds, mum also added splashes of colour around the beer garden and terrace in the po different pots. And uh, our window boxes are now full with colourful uh, blooms. And as these all grow and fill out, it's going to just really be nice over the summer to see the spaces with so much colour. 
A few of our pots need a little bit of TLC after the winter, but a uh, little bit of spray paint and they were looking good again. The garden has, is just looking so beautiful and it just ha, is such a nice feel. It's so calm and relaxing, just surrounded by all the greenery. The lawn is looking fantastic and uh, we're just adding a little bit more each year as we have done over the past few years with new plants, new flowers. Um, we still have lots more to go but it's just a really relaxing place to spend time. The garden feels like our very own little oasis, tucked away from the world, waiting for you to come and enjoy. So Stephen decided that he uh, wanted a new toy for our terrace here at the pub. And there are a few things that we have decided we're definitely not having at the pub. One is a darts board because yeah, I can see all sorts of problems with darts. Well, these are really sharp. Like... And the other one was we joked about was axe throwing. And then we found these. So Stephen found these. So we have a plastic safe, yeah, safe. axe throwing. And we're going to give you a demo how safe it is. Yeah, Mary so... going to stand against the board <laughs> and I'm going to throw yeah. them. You are? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I the one standing against the board? It's safe. Oh, it's, yeah, it's safe. It's a safe axe throwing. So we thought we'd uh, do a little testing and uh, well, well, let's see who's the best axe thrower. Okay, so this is practice because I haven't been practicing my technique. If it goes in, it's practice. No, if it goes in, it's not practice, right? Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Oh, oh. one out of one. <laughs> oh. Come on! It's two practice This ones. is, no, this is not, <laughs> this is the real deal. No practice. I don't need practice, obviously. Three out of three. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Ready? So is this practice or real? Uh, if it goes in, it's not practice. Okay, fair enough, Ready? go. Oh, that, oh, that didn't hit! That's, that one. Oh, That's like two on the floor! Okay, one. If I get it in the yellow, then I win. <laughs> you can't make the rules up as you go along. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a bullseye! But you lost two. No, I win. Okay, ready? so throw it, but don't hit me. Okay, I won't hit you. Here we go. You sure? Ready? Yeah, ready, and... Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay, ready? And one more. Oh, good. And one more. Okay, it's getting close, but I'm not going to hit you. Okay. And this one, you got to get in my mouth. Okay, this one. I'll catch yeah, it with my mouth, okay? My ready? Okay, ready, go. Ready, 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 ready. Mum and Dad even had a go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Bullseye. Okay. One more. Oh, that one. Oh, that one went off. But hey, you got a bullseye. Two. And oh, three out of three. Nice shot. And we're recording. <laughs> is, that, is that how you start? Yeah. We need one of those yeah, shutter yeah. things. Yeah. Okay, you look. Okay, that was a little bit close to my nose. I felt the air rushing. Okay. Okay, so tell me what's happening at the pub this weekend. Share with us. Well, it's Father's Day. Right, Sunday. And what's happened? And then we've got our tour of Scotland with whiskey on Saturday. Right. Which is an event that's actually sold out. It's been sold out for a while, actually. Um, which I'm really excited about. I've been doing my research on all the whiskey companies. And I'm not a big fan of whiskey, to be fair, but I've been thoroughly enjoying learning very about all this. It's very interesting, interesting. the history behind mm -hmm. whiskey. And anyway, so we have eight whiskeys we've chosen with the help of an expert. We right. did not choose them ourselves. No. 
and um, we're going to have the map. We're going to go around Scotland. I'm very excited. But so, but we're linking the Father's Day to that, right? Right. So on Father's Day, uh, you we're going to have whiskey flights. And With Stephen's wonderful boards that you remember he yeah, made for the made. Irish whiskey. So this time we're going to do Scottish whiskey, right? Right. So you're going to get four whiskies. Well, for the Father's Day though, we can do Irish whiskey. We could do oh, so you could Scottish get a choice, whiskey, and then we can even do Canadian whiskies. So we can you could get a choice yeah, of Canadian, mix Irish, mix and match. You can get four. Oh, yeah, we could do international. Right. The world whiskies. One Scottish, one Irish, one. U.S. Sure. One Canadian. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. that right? Yeah. We have Canadian and, and U.S. Yeah. So Bourbon. anyway, we're getting whiskey. So we're getting who's Mervyn? <laughs> bourbon. Oh, I thought you said Mervyn's whiskey. I was like, who's Mervyn? Oh, Bourbon. Okay, sorry. He makes My bourbon whiskey. <laughs> He's a little guy that runs around on his little pedal bike making the whiskey. Sorry, uh, I misunderstood you there. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna have whiskey flights on Sunday. Right. Right. So that you can come in and enjoy a flight of whiskey, and then obviously on the Saturday we're gonna. So we're not we're not sharing at the moment which of the Scotch whiskies are we? So we've got eight. No. Because, because it's a secret for Saturday. Right, because everyone who's coming on Saturday is trying to bribe us to tell them what we're going to be serving and we've decided we're not to. We're yeah. going to do it as a surprise, which right. is nice. So that's this weekend. So if you are around on Sunday, make sure you drop by the pub. We're open 2 till 10 as we are Wednesday to Sunday. And the other thing now, as you saw today, the terrace is amazing. It's like so beautiful out and there. Warm. The sun's been out, it's and your warm. Mom is planting yeah, we've got flowers out there and it's just so quiet. And I was just commenting the other day of how many birds you can hear. Yeah. And there's butterflies and bees, and it's like you're in the well, I guess we are in the countryside. Yeah. yeah. In this little oasis. It's quite, quite lovely. So yeah, drop by and have a flight out on the a flight a out flight. on a flight out on the um, on the terrace, but um, we also have in the next couple of weeks some other stuff coming up. Like we've got James Mullinger who's coming next Saturday, Saturday. week on Saturday for our grand opening. Can you believe it's a grand opening next weekend? Oh, finally, yeah, finally. But it's come really quick. Yeah. So James Mullinger is all sold out, which is fantastic. Uh, the Friday night, the twenty first, which live, is live music. Yeah, we've got Kathy and Mo coming back. So we had our live music last week. Yes, last Friday. Saturday. He, oh yeah, last Friday. Friday. Sorry, getting confused. Huge. Well, no, it was Saturday. It was Saturday. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't yeah. matter. Um, it was huge success, yeah, wasn't it? It was packed. We were packed, and their music was fantastic. Yeah. Everyone loved it. So on the Friday, the twenty-first, we have the mayor and the MLA coming to cut the ribbon. But we're not doing a ribbon. We're doing a dog leash. Dog leash. Well, I guess we should get one that's not Jackson yeah. or Hendrix. <laughs> Otherwise, they won't have a dog leash. And then we're gonna have live music. So Carl, you and that's no tickets. Come nope. on down, no cover charge. Nope. Just come on down, enjoy the music and the drinks. Someone asked me that about the live music. They said, how much was the cover charge? No, no cover charge. No cover charge. Um, and then hopefully it'll be nice we can do the music out on the terrace. Yeah, if it's and nice. Yeah, if it's nice weather, we'll have the music outside. And then the Sunday, oh my gosh, I am so looking forward to Sunday, the 23rd of our grand opening because it's pours and pints. And we are doing, not only are we gonna have Crafty Beasts Brewing with the dog beer out here. You can bring your dog down. Obviously our terrace is always dog friendly whenever we're open, but on that day, bring them down. Um, we're gonna have the dog beer. We are gonna have a photo booth that you can take photos with your dog maybe in some, the photo booth. Some treats. some treats, dog beer, that kind of stuff. But we're having a costume, dog costume competition. And you can dress your dog up, anything British themed, and we're gonna give away goodies for the best dressed. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for that. Uh, so that's the 23rd. Again, no charge, no cover charge, no tickets. Just come on down. The actual, we're gonna be open from two till 10, but the pours and pints is two till six. So there'll be lots going on there. So it's gonna be a busy couple of weeks. It's gonna be very busy. And then we've got Vintage Picnics that we just released as well, which is not till August. It's our Sandpipers um, Festival event, but we've already sold I think four of the picnics already, and we don't have a huge number. No. So if you are looking for a picnic, make sure you go on our website and book because we're only gonna do limited numbers. But that's gonna be beautiful too. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's looking good. Yeah, it is looking good. And I'm gonna go and now practice my axe throwing again. Oh yeah, axe throwing. Yeah, so that I can beat you. Yeah. Although I technically beat you today. Oh yeah. 
Yep. I got four, you got two. No, that's just your fancy editing in the... Uh, <laughs> in yeah, the I did not edit the video to make yeah. sure I got four. You, you, I did not. Just, just I want to make that sure that's very clear to everyone. It's no funny, editing was it's involved. Funny how you missed every time, and yet they all went into the wilderness. You are <laughs> telling false truths your about mom, me. Your mum did well. My mom, and my dad. Yeah. Who knew? They were good axe throwers. <laughs> I never thought I would say that about my mum and dad. Anyway, I guess we better get back to work. Getting ready for the next couple of weekends of events. Lots to do. Lots to do. We look forward to seeing you at the pub. Like I say, we're here 2 till 10, Monday, uh, Monday Wednesday through Sunday. And uh, come by over the next couple of weekends and enjoy a flight on Sunday and uh, or, a pint. or a pint yeah we've got our pint on our pump house on tap so that's really cool out on the terrace and uh, yeah and then join us for the grand opening and we will be back next week for our next episode of the Lady Smith Manor Diaries and see you then <laughs>